What is up, Clashers? It's your host, Galadon, coming to you live from Estonia. I am here for the CWL Season 2 Finals, but I'm still playing Builder Base. And right now, I want to talk to you guys about the emerging meta in the Builder Base of Clash of Clans. We're calling it Bomb Barch. Okay, so you've got Barch, you've got Barbarians and Archers, but we're also bringing Bombers. And this attack is sweeping the nation, the world, uh, at least in Builder Hall 6, and it could easily apply to the lower Builder Hall levels as well. So if you're familiar with the Mass Barbarian attack strategy, it is a little bit like that. Some people annoyed by just spamming Barbarians down. But you'll notice this attack starts out that way and then cleans up with a much more precise deployment of archers to grab usually two stars, the Builder Hall and 50% damage. Now the beginning of this attack never looks very good as it usually wraps up with only your archers left and somewhere around 30% damage. Right here, Cody Couch, who reached number one in the world with this attack, is showing us exactly how it's done. In come the archers, 36% zero stars, but not to worry, as the archers deployed very precisely are going to get through just the right structures and grab two stars. Now later in the episode, I will go over exactly how many archers you need in every situation. And that does vary a little bit dependent upon where they're deployed. You have to remember they're sneaky archers and that cloak only lasts for so long. So the further you're forced to deploy an archer from its target, the less time it is going to have to shoot at said target before it is revealed. Right here, the archers getting through the Builder Hall. That's the second star. Cody Couch well on his way to a huge percentage right here with seven archers left and already at 59%. Now, I've seen this attack done in several different ways. It can be done on all sorts of bases. It doesn't matter if walls are in the way. But it's important to remember a couple of things. The first shot from the bomber is going to be that extra damage, so make it count. And always protect those bombers as best you can, usually with the battle machine early on. And then, of course, the barbarians as the attack begins to progress. Also, and I'll try to show this later on in this episode, if you drop a bomber precisely in the middle of a wall section... His first bomb will take out the entire wall and he will move on. If you're off by just one tile, he will require at least a second shot to finish off the same wall. So that is part of the critical placement of troops in a bomb barge attack. So right there, great 71% two star from Cody. We're going to move on to some other players from Night Mode Clash. This is Z White Kid showing another very proficient use of bomb barge coming from the top of this base again utilizing that extra damage from the first shot from the bombers getting those barbarians into tank you'll see on the top left not quite early enough he loses a bomber to the multi-mortar and with only four bombers in this attack they are extremely high value units you've got to try to keep them alive if at all possible. He still has three left though. They're working their way in, clearing that path towards the town hall. The last of the barbarians go down. And as you can see, White Kid has chosen to approach this from the top of the base. And what that's allowed him is to avoid both of the crushers. And that's worked out really well for the battle machine. It has lasted a long time. And before he's gotten through the initial quote unquote kill squad of this attack, he has nearly gotten a star for damage. 45%, a bomber still alive, and now the archers will easily come in here and wipe out that builder's hall. You can see just the first deployment of archers is going to grab that star for the builder hall, and the damage star not far behind, as he's got plenty of archers yet to deploy. Again, taking out specific structures will get to the count of archers per building later on in the episode. It's also very critical to know that to see where those remaining defenses are. There may be some places because of your early attack that there are no defenses that will reach and you've got free buildings out there. Much like you would see back at the home village in the beginning of an attack trying to pick off units with minions or with archers. At the end of this attack, the remaining archers picking off these structures. And I also think it's important to note to go for the builder hall first and then use the leftovers 
to get these extra structures. You want to try to get that builder hall because very often a low percentage two star is going to be more than enough to grab you the victory with a lot of players going after high percentage one stars right there. White kid 71% so he grabs the two and a pretty high percentage. So let's move on and check out Eric on the attack. Dropping that battle machine first, making sure it picks up the attention of those long-range archer towers and the multi-mortar. And then in come the bombers. Again, just four bombers. Eric right here has brought one camp of barbarians and two of archers. We also see a variation with two camps of barbarians and one of archers, but that makes those final eight archers super critical. And if you haven't cleared an open path to the town hall, the two-star is going to be a long shot. Now right here, Eric doing a great job working his way in. You can see the battle machine just about to go down, but not before they've gotten all the way in to the point that there's only one structure in between him and the builder hall and it's badly damaged. The multi-mortar is going to fall to just one archer and with two camps of archers, Eric knows that he can start working on those structures on the right hand side and still have plenty of archers to get into the builder hall. Now right here, they go in. It's sometimes a good idea to drop one in just to test for mines and for spring traps, for push traps. In go four archers and down goes the Builder Hall for the first star at that same time. Top right, the cannon goes down, that's the second star. And he still has five archers left to try to pick off just a couple more structures just to up that percentage. It's amazing how many times you can win by just one structure. So patience at the end of these attacks, although it is kind of boring to wrap up an attack like this, it is key. You want to try to grab every possible structure right here as he's working his way, 56%. You can see every archer is down. Top of the screen, one last structure goes down, 62% two star. Again, good enough for the win. And yes, this attack is effective against a wide variety of bases. Here's a big box base. Again, Cody, number one player in the world at the time of this recording, dropping the battle machine in. The Barbarians on the right-hand side going to tank for those bombers out there. The bombers working their way in behind two camps of Barbarians. So sometimes a base like this with a bunch of tightly grouped structures, not a lot of walls to get through, does call for two camps of barbs. In come 30 barbarians. The last of the barbarians again down one more time. Just barely getting that crusher out of the way. Almost a completely clear path to an already damaged town hall. In come the archers to clear out the cannon and then they will be right onto that town hall. Cody with just six, now five archers left to get there. But as you can see, the cloak critical. Archers working on it slowly but surely. The guard hut drawing one of the archers' attention. But now that it's out of the way, there is nothing else for those archers to go after. He just needs one more. He already can begin deploying the archers on the left-hand side to grab the additional percentage points. Because as you can see, the builder hall by itself would not have grabbed two stars, just one. He needed the extra structures now with two archers remaining. Cody just trying to find that vulnerable spot in the base. He goes after the Tesla and this works out well because the Tesla falls and those archers are going to get to the gem mine as well. Already damaged, Cody ends up with a 62% two star victory. The next replay shows an unusual approach to a very common base. We're seeing the diamond base all over the place right now. A lot of players will choose to come from the bottom right or bottom left to go after this base, but you don't have to fear walls as long as you keep the bombers so alive. So I drop the battle machine and a couple of barbarians. That is going to successfully distract the multi-mortar and the long-range archer tower to the top right of this base and allow those bombers to work their way in towards the core. You can see that most of them are going to head down to this second layer of walls. We continue to drop a few barbarians at a time just to make sure the bombers stay alive. They are absolutely critical right now because we need to get through this inner layer of walls. If that layer right there does not fall, then we have almost no chance of getting the Builder Hall down with the remaining two camps of archers. Because we attacked on the far side of the crushers, the battle machine lasted a little bit longer, got through more structures. Now we still don't have a clear shot to the Builder Hall, but with 16 archers, plenty of time to get there. We're going to be patient, 
just very carefully dropping enough archers to take out each structure, sometimes not dropping enough, but when time is on your side, that's not a problem. In go a couple more archers, the multi-mortar is going to go down, and after that they go to work on the double cannon. It is going to require one more archer to get it out of the way, and once it's down, then we do have that clear shot straight to the town hall, but you have to be careful about where you drop these archers to make sure that they're going to path down that line straight to the builder hall, and that kind of comes with practice and just taking a close look at the tiles. Luckily, the grass is patterned. Somebody has mowed it very meticulously. That landscaper has been out there, and that allows us to very carefully drop the archers at just the right spot. Again, that comes with practice, making sure that you get the archer just precisely in the center where it's going to pass straight to the builder hall rather than, in that case, the firecrackers to the right or the roaster to the left. My last archer is going to go down on the outside, taking out more and more structures you can see we're pretty far from a second star right here, but luckily we know exactly which structures are the weakest, how many archers we need to take each one down. This one's going to take a couple of them down. So now 45% with four remaining archers, one at the top left grabs that gold mine easily. And now it is time to bring up the APB. Thanks for Cody for his help on this one. Yes, archers per building. This is important information. One archer will take out elixir collectors, gold mines, gem mines, camps, and the battle machine. You will likely need two archers to take down undamaged archer towers, cannons, the multi-mortar, firecrackers, the Tesla, or the guard post. Three archers on the double cannons, the lab, storages, clock tower, crusher, and air bombs, and then finally four archers to take out the builder hall. But remember, these are not always precise. It can vary dependent upon how long it takes the archer to get within range. If you're dropping them from far away, they're wasting that cloak time, and also it depends upon the number of defenses in the area. Last but certainly not least, let's review bomber placement right here, an inaccurately placed bomber. <sighs> does not work out because it takes two shots to take out this wall where he could have accomplished it in just one. Remember, each wall has five segments and you're aiming for that very middle segment. The middle segment, if the bomber lands there, he will take out the entire wall. And again, you can see the tiles in the grass. So it kind of makes a little path right there and anywhere between those dotted lines, if you drop your bomber there, he is going to follow those lines straight to the middle of that wall as long as there's not another structure closer and take it out in just one shot. So there you have it, a quick video on Bomb Barch, launching players up to number one on the leaderboards. Let me know if you try it out yourself or if you have an even better strategy that could emerge as the next meta. Thank you guys again for your time. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and of course, come back again tomorrow for more full attacks.